I want y'all to notice here before we even get started. I want you to notice this little girl right here, sitting right here. Okay. Why is she important? Well, she plays a pivotal role in this story. Um, this little girl is just sitting there. She looks like she's just living her life. She don't want to be there. But this is how you know that there's always a problem. You see how she's not reacting to what her mother says? She's not like, Mom is mad. She's standing there as if Mama does this all the time. She's sitting there with no cares in the world. Let's, look at the daughter as the woman screaming. You notice, you notice how that little girl is not even phased by one, the other lady yelling, to her mother yelling. That already goes to show you we have a problem here. So let's continue. All right, can't, can't show that. That's a yeah, YouTube policy. But we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna freeze frame it here. All right. So as we see the fighting is going on, the mother eventually ends up getting knocked to the ground, and here's where the problem happens. Here, see. So you remember the little girl? You remember that little girl? So this little girl is you cannot see her. She is actually back behind this woman in the fight with the mother. You can see her jeans right there. Right, this is the little girl. So we continue on. Right, and as the mother's get, getting, you know, getting on the ground and trying to stop her, I want you to see what's going on over here. Who is this on the ground? Who do you see on the ground? Once you get feet right here, this is the little girl. They even start screaming, she's beating the little girl. This is the little girl on the ground. People, people, we need to have a discussion. What, so you can see back here, young girl, unfazed, into the fight, young individual, the little girl's on the ground, flabbergasted, shouldn't have been a part of it, mother shouldn't have been a part of it, this woman shouldn't have been a part of it, and so what did we learn today, class? Well, we have learned, when it comes to these things, it has become too normalized to see two young women fighting each other. When it all could have been avoided in the very beginning. All could have been avoided. We didn't have to go through any of this. This is where it got out of hand. Right there. As soon as those words were uttered, manager said a bit like, all right, ma'am, I'm just going to sit here. I'm going to sit here and relax, sit here and chill. This, we're not going to do this here. We're not going to do this here. Once again, this girl has to be... I don't know. Let's just say, let's just play like she's 18, okay? Let's say that's an 18-year-old. We have no evidence of what how old this kid is. I keep trying to close the box on here as if it's actually open there. We have no evidence of how old this, this young woman is, okay? But she looks young to me. So let's say she's 16. Let's say she's 17. Let's even say she's 18. She is still there with her mother, unfazed by the yelling, ready to get in the fight. This woman oh, across the counter clearly looks older than this young girl who we're calling 18. Okay. <sighs> Women. I would say the same thing if I was talking to a young man. When these situations arise, it shows the problem that I've been saying about these sister-mother relationships. I don't know if this woman's married. I doubt it based off of the behavior of the daughter. I don't see this woman being able to yell at her man in such a way. I could be wrong, but I'm going to assume this woman's unmarried. These single mothers who raised their little daughters to be like their sister to the point where the mother was letting the daughter get in a fight. And I want you to notice something else. At the end of this fight... Did this mother even go to console the daughter? Here's the daughter right here. Look at the daughter. Look at the daughter. This mother didn't even go to pick up her daughter. Her daughter is on the ground. At no point did this woman walk over to go help her daughter. Yeah, you stupid bitch. Yeah. Whoa. 
Whoop. More violence. See, the mother walked over to that woman just to get popped in her face. Once again, is the mother at any point going to the daughter and being like, are you okay? Do you need help? Nope. Instead of the mother even helping the daughter up at this point in the interaction, this woman, this woman went right back to get slapped. We, you young mothers, you mothers have got to stop raising your daughters like they're your damn sister. It's a fucking embarrassment to see these kind of things. I don't under I don't understand why I see this so often with women and single mothers who think that and this is so hard to explain to some people, but I will have to reiterate it and explain again. I'm a man who worked with children for 20 years. I work with teenagers, I work with kids from all ways from five, and I even work with college students to up to about 2021. 20, I've worked all ways. And I'm going to tell you how many times I've seen young women, young teenagers, who get treated like they're a sister with the mother. And it is toxic, guys. I mean, it's disgusting the way these women will talk to their daughters, cussing them out, calling them the B word, telling you to get the fuck over there. Y'all seen it around. I, act, I know y'all seen those things with mothers fighting their daughters. They treat them like they're actually a sister. So they talk to them like a sister. In fact, I was once involved with a woman who treated her daughter like a sister. And I remember being over the house and hearing how the mother spoke to her daughter. She'd be like, don't you fucking talk to me. I'm trying to hey, try to keep it clean. I, I, I don't know who the F you're talking to like that, but I will whoop your F and A. Who the fuck you think you are? The f I know y'all heard that. I know y'all heard that before. And I was, and I was just like sitting there like, I've heard this before, but I had never been this close. Normally, it was in a, a school setting, sometimes a church setting, sometimes a setting where it was volunteer work or something like that. But I never heard it in a personal house. Because that, you know, obviously, I didn't go to people's houses. But this woman I was involved with. And nonetheless, it was shocking to be right in the center of it. Because I got to see this over and over. And even I had, there was some other stuff that I won't say, but th this woman was strange. The way she treated her kids, it was strange. It was strange. I'll tell you that right now. But another thing I had to say, I told this woman, I said, look, <laughs> do you have to talk to your daughter like that? I mean, what the hell? She ain't your sister. I didn't say those exact words, but I was more like, you know, she is a kid. You know, she's only 10. And you're telling her. That you were going to woof her effing A. She don't know who the F she's talking about. What the F? It's just like. Why are you cursing so hard. As if you're really a mother. Who doesn't want to discipline the daughter. You literally want to fight. Your daughter. Right? We know how that goes. Oh, let me fix something real quick guys. Literally want to fight. the. You know how disgusting that is? But it's normal ain't it? See. It's, it's normal, ain't it? Because we see black women act like this all the time amongst even men, right? Black women will fight a grown-ass man who's 6'3", 350. She'll talk to him and call him all these other words like you be in, you know, you B-A-N if you know what I'm talking about, guys. Calling him outside of his name saying she's ready to fight. Y'all remember the video with Brittany Renner? When Brittany Renner told a world boxing champion that she was ready to fight him? Like... And so you see, in this, see these, some of these black women are so out of order, they will talk to the, let me say, let me say black women, because even the women I'm talking about that I was involved with, she wasn't black. So women, these single mothers in general, and some of these women will talk to men like they're crazy, but these single mothers will talk to their daughters like they're sisters, like they're their best friend on the planet. And, and it's crazy. So yeah, these women are ready to fight at all times. Round one. Fight. When their daughters say something out of line, when their daughters get crazy, when their daughters and you and you wonder and you see some of these daughters. Now I know a lot of you haven't probably worked with children, but when I work with children, these are these girls you can spot out easily in a school setting. Easily the worst girls in the school. Ready to fight. The way they dress, the way they talk. <laughs> the way they acted. I've dealt with some of the worst kids I've ever been around in my life. 
I've been around, and it's not just, it's not always a color, a, a black thing, but I can tell you, I've worked in a predominantly white school. I worked in a predominantly Hispanic school. I worked in a predominantly black school. Okay? I have to say, me personally, the predominantly black school had the most behavioral problems. Okay? They had the most behavioral problems. And you know why? Because a lot of the black kids are born to single mother households. Not saying that doesn't happen white. Not doesn't say that it happened with Hispanic. I'm simply telling you, based off the experience I've had with all these individuals, that's what I saw more of. Every time I had to discipline one of these kids, who came to get them? Who did I always see? A mother. Ringless. Single. Alone. Maybe had the boyfriend. I remember one kid I had. He was so, I mean, deep. <laughs> Had the foulest mouth you could ever imagine. I'm talking about this as a young five, six year old little boy. Could curse, fight, would cuss you out, would give you a ruckus. And at the very end, he would always bawl his eyes out. He came to school sometimes with scars all over his body after he got, I mean, whipped to death, right? Whipped. Because they, the parents, now there's no parents, it was, it was the mother and like the uh, grandmother they would whoop this child so bad this child couldn't show up to school for days he got whooped so bad right but it explains the behavior that this kid was doing i'm not trying to kill you single mothers i'm simply trying to say the stress that i see these single mothers go through because they can't learn how to fix themselves they get so stressed out the way they cheat these kids it just comes out they no longer decide to have a filter instead of having somebody there who can help with the discipline they feel like they have to do it all themselves and when they can't logically get it in their head they start cursing they start yelling they start whipping they start getting everything under the freaking sun to beat these kids with or if they don't do that it is the most verbal abuse i've ever heard in my life like i said the woman I was involved with, she was not black, single mother though. She didn't whoop her child, but she would, I mean, just destroy her mentally. And it's no wonder that this kid grew up to be so screwed up. I hate that for that child. I really, really, really hated it to watch this child go from a beautiful young lady at 10 years old. To go from that, uh, like she had life, just a little bit of life. But the worst it got with her mother, she turned into... She cut off all her hair, okay, and then just tried to become this amalgamation of a boy-girl. Some days she was really boyish, some days she was really girlish, but she couldn't get any femininity in her life because her mother was so brutal to her verbally that there was a part of her that wanted to be tough. So that tough part that came out of her wanted to, the only toughness she could think of was a man. Because her mother had gone through so much stuff with bad men in her life that she thought the only way her mother could be controlled is by whom? A toxic man. A abusive man. So that's what she became. She, she, she went from being this feminine young girl to a boyish teenager. But this is how we can screw up women. And we don't see this shit. And then we... It bothers me because we praise these single mothers too much. Because if you could see on the inside how they treat their daughters, like the little sisters, how they treat their sons, like their uh, mini husband, you don't get it. It's not meant to be that way. It's not. So I don't try to bash single mothers, but I'm saying, damn it, they shouldn't be praised. They shouldn't be like, oh man, this is the greatest thing ever. We have to start figuring this stuff out. But I told you how to go about this, man. Stop having babies with these women. Stop it. You are destroying your community, whichever community you are in. Single mothers, period. You young men have stopped. Man, because our world is, it is a lot deeper I can go into, but just we'll just stick here. Too many of you men are just going in there, dropping your seed in a woman, right? And then you, once you finally drop that seed in here, she immediately cuts you off and says you cannot be around the child because y'all don't work out. Because maybe you got with her, you were toxic, she's toxic, and she cuts you out of the child's life. And you don't want to deal with the mother. You shouldn't have had, been having sex with her to begin with. But you decide not to deal with the mother, and now the whole child has to suffer. Or you try to be the man. 
you try to be a part of the child's life, but the mother is so vindictive because y'all couldn't get along because y'all met simply for a reason of <laughs> that's all it was about. And she can't get over it. That's all you wanted from her. She becomes vindictive. She becomes revengeful. She becomes all these things. And now this is why we have so many broken homes. I'm not blaming mainly the men. I blame the women. A lot of the women I do blame. But I am saying that you men play a part when y'all keep every girl y'all see like fucking animals. Y'all gotta stop. Because I'm also tired of hearing men complain about this shit. But they're the problem. Y'all are dropping y'all seed in each little girl you can you can find. You go drop your seed in everybody. Like, like that's all you can do. It's disgusting. Anyway. So what did we learn today, class? Single mothers who raise their daughters like they're their sisters. This is what you get. Beat your mother beating up. You beating up. You sitting there on the ground flabbergasted while your mama's ready to fight again. Instead of helping you out, your mama goes back and gets slapped right in her mouth and it all ends. Y'all are recorded. Now you're on World Star. Congratulations, women. Congratulations, single mothers. <laughs> Fuck out of here. I'm gone.